This is the second episode of our Chin Maya Algebra series. If you haven't watched the first one, I suggest you do so first. For this video, we are asked to find the product of 16 minus a squared and 16 minus b squared given the sum of the square roots as shown is equal to 4. In this video, I will discuss a solution that I want to call the conjugate method, where the solution will involve multiplying the given equation with the conjugate of the given radicals. This method is particularly helpful when dealing with the sum of, of course, two radicals. For brevity's sake, we let the first radical be x and the second one be y. Hence, we are given with x plus y is equal to 4. Now, here comes the trick. We multiply this by the conjugate of x plus y, which is x minus y. It's a conjugate because we are dealing with the conjugate of these two radicals here. And we equate this to 4 times x minus y. The left side becomes x squared minus y squared using the formula for the difference of squares. While the last or the right side becomes 4 times x minus y. Now, this x squared minus a squared can actually be expressed as a squared plus b squared plus ab, where we simply remove the radical for each expression, minus a squared plus b squared minus ab. The a squared and b squared cancels out, leaving us with just 2ab. Therefore, this left side here is just 2ab. And the right side is 4 times x minus y. If we divide both sides by, by 4, we get that x minus y is equal to ab over 2. Hence, we have here a system of two equations. x plus y is equal to 4 and x minus y is equal to ab over 2. We can solve this equation for x by adding the two equations. We get 2x to cancel the y is equal to 4 plus ab over 2. And if we divide both sides by 2, we can get explicitly the value of x. x is equal to 4 divided by 2, that's 2. And then the ab over 2 becomes ab over 4. Therefore, we have x being equal to 2 plus ab over 4. We don't have to solve for y anymore because we don't. We are not really interested with x and y themselves. Knowing x alone is enough, at least for our purposes in this solution. Now we put back the solution for r or the expression for x, which is square root of a squared plus b squared plus ab, and equate that to the expression we got, which is 2 plus ab over 4. Remove the radical by squaring both sides. We get a squared plus b squared plus ab is equal to the quantity of 2 plus ab over 4 squared. Using the expansion for a perfect square binomial, a perfect square trinomial, sorry, the right side becomes 4 plus 2 times 2 times ab over 4 plus ab over 4 squared which when we simplify, we get 4 plus ab plus a squared b squared over 16. Therefore, we have here a relationship between a squared plus b squared plus ab and something in the right side with ab and a squared b squared. We can cancel out this ab here because it's common and then put the or rewrite the equation to simplify uh, the left side. We get negative 4 is equal to a squared b squared over 16 minus a squared minus b squared. Now, how is this important to us? It's actually very, very similar to what we are looking for. You see here, if we look at the expression, we have here, if we expand this, we will actually have something a squared b squared and a squared plus b squared, which is 
if you look closely here, that's basically what we want, or at least a part of it. So we put everything aside and just take note of this uh, uh, this uh, expression here, the expression in blue. That's, that's, that's the thing we want. So we put it here. And then we go back to the required expression. So this one, we expand that, that's 16 squared minus 16. 16a squared minus 16b squared plus a squared b squared. If we factor out 16 from the last three terms, we get 16 times a squared plus b squared minus a squared b squared over 16. Now this group of terms here, is equal to the negative of what we previously got. So we get here 16 squared minus 16 times the negative of negative 4, which when we simplify is equal to 256 minus 64 equals 192. Therefore, the answer here is 192, and that's our final answer. Again, we use the conjugate method here because we have an expression involving the sum of two radicals. By using this method, we are able to remove the radicals without squaring the terms, which is what we commonly do for radical expressions. This method drastically improves the solution, shortening it by several magnitudes as compared to squaring the original equation. That's it for this video. Thank you.